Today we have David Max Scarab, Quebec Akima Agents. Um, Quebec Agents. No TV and Diamond Select Toys introduced Scarab, a daily hero, heroine who dispenses her own brand of justice on the guilty. Skilled in all forms of hand-to-hand -hand combat, Scarab uses her vast martial, skill, martial arts skills, as well as her impressive arsenal of weapons, to face impossible odds and claim victory every time. Wearing the mark of the Neo Scarab... Scarab is as mysterious as she is lovely, joining her fellow agents in fighting Japan's enemies while rebuilding herself, as she put it, from the boots up. When asked if she's ready to fight, her answer, 200 horsepower. Sculpted by Andy Bergoltz, stands 6 inches tall, 13 points of articulation. We have... Scarab, and we have Akima. This is Akima. We have Akima. <laughs> Rumored to be the original Tiger Lily, Akima was a Noah agent. Tiger Lily. Rumored to be the original Tiger Lily, Akima was a no agent who went freelance, eventually captured by Control Corps. Akima was imprisoned in her institution for defensive. Defective government operations. Called Akima by Control Corps inmates, their pronunciation of her nickname, Alchemy. She became an admired leader to her fellow prisoners and a personal catalyst to Kabuka, who Akima befriended at the institution via notes folded onto origami creatures. Upon escaping from Control Corps, Akima managed to re-infiltrate the Noah as one of their operatives, providing her with yet another cover identity she can use to achieve her mysterious goals. So that's who we got. We got Akima. Kabuka Agent... Uh, Scarab Kabuka Agents Akima. This is some kind of anime show. Scarab Kabuka Agent Sakima So She's got all these little weapons She has a sword A double sword A knife A dagger Guns some bonus hands, so you can switch her hands. And a panda bear. For some reason, she also has a panda bear. Her hands, again, her hands go 360 degree motion. Her arms. She has the ability where her ha her hands, her arms are 360. Her hands are also 360. Her head can do 360. She's got spikes all over her, on her suit. Her legs okay. move up and down. But they also, let's see here. They... They got three, yeah, okay. Her legs also have, whoa, 360 degree articulation. She's got red all over her outfit, which is like, looks like it's spattered blood that's hit her body all over her place. Yeah, she's got basically red spattered blood all over her from killing folks, I guess. And she's got this 
neat little dragon tattoo on her back that you can't see all the way but it's really it's like a really big dragon tattoo um and like I said she got all these weapons she's got I mean she's got this weapon some kind of sword she's got this little dagger Comes with a good assortment of weapons. Got this sword. She's got a sword in a sheath too. Which is interesting how she has a sword in a sheath, but doesn't look like there's a way to attach the sheath onto her body. I guess you could you could glue this sheath onto her side, like this maybe, or that side. She's got these extra bonus hands, which are kind of cool, because you now she can't hold weapons with these bonus hands, but you can pop her old hands off and you can put new hands on. And she also has two guns. But again, she doesn't have just two regular pistols here. But then again, she doesn't have holsters on her body to hold these pistols. So I suppose you could, again, like make some kind of holster. Or glue them onto her, but then you wouldn't be able to take them off. Like if you were trying to create a pose where she had the guns on her and you wanted to keep her in a pose, you could glue the weapons, certain weapons onto her, and that way, but she'd be that way forever. But if that's what you were going to make her to display, you could do that. Um, and then for some unknown reason, I guess it has to do with the show, um, or the, the anime show, because I guess it's anime. Um, she came with this panda, panda bear. It's like a stuffed animal panda bear that's been cut and sewn back together. So maybe it was hiding something inside the panda bear? I don't know. It's a cute little panda bear, though. <laughs> I mean, don't have any clue at all about this show called Scarab, David Max Scarab, Kabuka Agents. I have no idea anything about it. If y'all know anything about it, comment down below. Um, but all in all, it's a pretty neat little figure. It's got a lot of little posability, lots of articulation, uh, lots of little weapons, Lots of different hands. You got fist hands. Oh, the, there are all oh, these hands are for can hold. So you got different hands that can hold different weapons. So the hand she's got holding. So you can have the fist hands where it's like she's gripping the weapon, and then you got these open hands where she's. Looks like she's wearing the gun holding hands right now. And those are like the sword holding hands. Then she's got like just martial arts regular hands that wouldn't hold anything. So for like karate chopping action and stuff. So it's a pretty decent figure. So remember, God is good all the time. All the time God is good. Uh... Jesus loves you. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Keep on gaming. Keep on collecting. Keep on enjoying these videos. And everybody have a great, wonderful day. Uh, so, uh, laters, guys and girls.